In Niagara Falls, have you ever racked up a huge phone bill because your wireless provider actually thought you were in Canada? Happens all the time. Well, there's a new push now to install Wi-Fi in the falls on this side of the border. It's an effort to eliminate those roaming charges, all the confusion, and also to help tourists connect with the city in new ways. The story tonight from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Slauson. Welcome to Canada. Your text and data while in Canada is included as a part of your domestic plan. To Michael Hunter got that text message while visiting the U.S. side of Niagara Falls. If you look at your phone when you leave here, you'll probably see that you're roaming off of Rogers Tower on the other side of the border. Some tourists have no idea their phones think they're in Canada. You're paying for something <laughs> that you don't know and you don't even know for. it. To try and help avoid those roaming charges, the Niagara Global Tourism Institute is looking to help in the form of free Wi-Fi. People need Wi-Fi. They, they get directions to know where they're going to go next. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's just something people expect today. The NGTI is asking the city of Niagara Falls for $50,000 to help cover the project's estimated $200,000 bill. It's a cost the Institute believes is necessary to move the city forward. You know, there's a lot of talk about smart cities, and this is uh, will enable Niagara Falls to take a step toward being a smart city. The NGTI believes more tourists will be coming into the Wi-Fi areas to use the internet, increasing tourism outside of the falls. To prepare for large numbers, they are making sure the Wi-Fi is secure. Firewalls and safeguards in there, and everybody that signs on has, uh, you know, to agree to the terms and conditions. And the NGTI is hoping that this new Wi-Fi can show tourists that there's much more to Niagara Falls than just what's behind me, and that exploring other parts of the city, like here on Old Falls Street, should become more part of a tourist routine. From Niagara Falls, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.